Hey, good morning, Pirates. I hope you're having a great morning so far and you're ready for another amazing day full of learning. Today is Tuesday, Wednesday, sorry. Today is Wednesday, December 1st. Awesome. Uh, today for lunch, we're going to be having Dutch waffles with syrup, scrambled eggs, sweet potato tots, and orange juice. Tomorrow, we're going to have mini corn dogs. Uh, I forgot to mention what essentials color that we are on, uh, but we are currently on essentials color red. We'll be on red all week this week. Next week, we'll be on yellow. We do have two birthdays today. Uh, Madeline Austin. I'm sorry, Madison Austin. I need to put my glasses on. Madison Austin. Uh, she's in fifth grade. She's in Mrs. Colart's homeroom. So happy birthday to you, Madison. Thank you for being such a great student here for us here at Madelon. Keep up the wonderful work. And also, December 1st is Lucas Kenevi's birthday. He's in Mrs. DeNovo's class. And happy birthday to you, Lucas. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. It looks like um, things are drying up pretty nicely outside, so hopefully we'll be able to get outside and maybe even uh, get, out into the, um, get out into the yard today for um, Lisa. So happy birthday to you, Lucas. <clears throat> so today is Weird and Wacky Fact uh, Wednesday. And so today I wanted to focus on Christmas lights. Today is National uh, Holiday Light Day. Um, and there's a couple of interesting facts. I wanted to show you this picture because it looks kind of silly or scary. But back in 1660, um, people started hanging uh, candles on trees. Now, that might work out maybe outside or something like that, but when they started to do that inside, of course it started to burn houses down and things like that, but they thought it was a really special thing, and it probably was. It probably felt really nice, kind of like how uh, holiday lights feel when you hang them around your house or even outside. It just has that warm feeling. And so um, for a couple hundred years, that's kind of how they did things. And then until 1880, and actually Thomas Edison invented holiday lights back in 1880 and then in 1903 General Electric started selling kits for Christmas lights and so um, that's kind of what we see today now it's interesting because most of us associate these lights with the holiday Christmas but it's also celebrated just in all kinds of different holidays you'll see lights all over the place um, in different ways and so it just celebrates the whole holiday season um, in uh, December and in January, everything kind of gets darker earlier. And so that's an opportunity to have some lights on, which is great. I even use holiday lights in the summertime. Uh, when it gets dark in my backyard, I'll have some holiday lights on. It just makes it feel a whole lot better. So what are some things that you could do to enjoy this? And here's what I would recommend. Um, I would recommend asking your family, if you guys can go for a walk maybe downtown and see the Christmas lights, or if you could, uh, even around your neighborhood, some people have a lot of lights in our, my neighborhood doesn't really have very many, but yours might. So maybe take a walk, ask your parents if you could take a walk and check out some uh, holiday lights. I think it would be really, really cool. All right, uh, just a reminder, uh, you guys did a great job yesterday, by the way, of reminding yourselves of the important parts of what we expect here at Metalon and expect out of you as uh, Metalon students. And just a reminder to be where you're supposed to be, do what you're supposed to do, and act how you're supposed to act. And make sure you keep your learning as your main priority. Let's take a few seconds to focus on our breathing today. Big deep breath in through our nose. And hold it. And breathe out. Breathe in. And hold it. And breathe out. One more. Breathe in and hold it and breathe out. Awesome job, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful day and go Pirates.